Uh, yeah. Soulful. Soulful. Inspiration. Inspiration. Soulful. Soulful. Inspiration. Inspiration. A little. A little. Education. Yeah. Soulful. Uh. Inspiration. Mind. Soulful. Yeah. You know. Inspiration. Yeah. A little. Yeah. Education. Yeah. Here we go. You love. Learn something. Uninspired and tiger is a bad combination And I'm sad to say that's a dark situation But I'm thinking of you, so I'm glad to say I wrote a letter on behalf of how I feel today 7 a.m. in the morning, ain't been to sleep It's been a night tight, long and a rough tight week I'm meditating my life on the whole Pondering the where, when, how, if I can gain control It's like a spin of the wheel over a roll of the die They say that you can be a winner at the game alive But I know the house don't play to lose So you better know the math, how to make the move See, I'm a student of the study, how the proper pursue A blunt portion of the profits produced, paying my dues So I follow the lolly and avoid the fools But this is trial by fire, so you must stay cool One rule, envy is a powerful tool Spy your spine all times, everything you do That way, when the idiots eat, get act cool You can crack those crabs and continue to move You know, 7 a.m. in the morning, I'm open up Long night, ain't been to sleep I grab my pencil and pad, I'm open I Hope you yeah. feel yeah. me. Uh, remember yeah. back to the slenderest times yeah. when we pitched for the pretty penny nickel a dime. Before yeah. the world seemed crooked and the gutter was fine. Yeah. When it was good hood living and the peace of mind. Now that's over. Right. Life will make a grown man sober head aching, hanging over, feeling funny inside. We never knew the world worked on a bogus design to keep a brother buried deep, broken down and blind. Better still, man, it's ill when you look to find. There's a chance to advance, most heads deny. Like a dream and a slice of the proverbial pie. We will remain to reside in the ghetto of pride. Ignorance is pure blessing these days provide. Plenty of it to keep a poor man pacified. I try to put him on the prison, it's a knowledge applied. But that's a pickle of a deal that's sour inside. But um, 7 a.m. in the morning, I'm open up. Long night, ain't been to sleep. I grab my pencil and pad, I'm open. I hope you feeling me. Man. So many guys that I grew with died. Resorted to doing crime and turned doing the time. I can hardly better speak the child. Her friends and find every exchange features a fella falling the wayside that's ill but then it keeps a brother on bill more mentally locked and loaded ready to deal with any form of friction you can fathom the feel in a world that wills drama and fires that will it busts busts from dawn to dust and aim to kill cause a lot of souls shook and afraid for real so instead turn their head tuck tail and chill in the hopes not to cope but that's whack see you and I are like a different breed and we bring to the balance such a desperate need the eagerness to Elevate and evolve the scene A better space, a better time indeed Sincerely It, it was the voice of a courageous explorer A man dedicated to the pursuit of man's knowledge And the expansion of his horizons Good morning, here is Nathan Ivey Back from my hiatus, politicking on the latest. Welcome back to the Nathan Ivy Show, the last honest place in America. Brought to you by the good folks at Superlative Media. Welcome back, my friends. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, 2016, or better known as it is in Ohio, the day after the Cleveland Cavaliers got a wake up call. We discuss some NBA fantasticness later on in the show. For now, much more serious matters. Let me be the first this morning in terms of the media to say directly to you, good morning. And welcome back to a beautiful day. Okay? Here's my motto for today. Don't die wondering. That's my motto. It's very simple. Don't die wondering. Three simple words that can have a profound effect on your life. Whatever it is that... You've always desired to do, do it. Wherever you've ever visualized yourself before, you can get there. I don't care what the circumstances of your particular life may be. You might have to work some things out. But don't die wondering. Don't look back as you get older and think, wow, I wish I'd have did this. Or I wish I would have taken this risk. Okay? Welcome back. Good morning to you again. My name is Nathan Ivey, your humble host. And welcome back to the Nathan Ivey Show. Among other things, your morning destination for interesting conversation. 
Before I get too deep, I've got to say what's up to the folks who are in the chat room first. Starting with Pat. Good morning, Pat. How are you, Pat? Good to see you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining the chat. I appreciate you. Mr. Hollywood, how you doing, sir? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Hollywood. What's up, Omar? Good morning to you. Good morning, Brother Brent. Brother Brent with the serious flows. Good morning to you, Brent. Hey, Deborah, how you doing? Good to see you. Kina Kina in the house. She writes, I'm here. Good to have you, Kina Kina. Miss D writes, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss D. You changed your profile pic. You changed it. I remember things. Same thing with Deborah. I love uh, the technology that Spreaker allows us uh, to utilize because I can actually see images of you. And if you join the chat room, if you've never done before, you can actually interact not just with me, but you can interact with the other folks in the chat room as well. You can leave links. So if there's a story going on and you want people to understand, see it for themselves, you can post a link as well. Um, very, very interesting. Good morning, Dina, Deanna. Good to see you. Crutha Keith writes, good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Brown skin, chicken in. I love reading that. What's up, Avery? Mr. Avery? Morning to you, sir. I don't know why I say his name that way. I hope he doesn't take offense to it. I, I mean no offense at all. I'm just so happy. Good morning, Shauna. How are you? Good to see everyone. Tiffany, the next time I'm in an event, Tiffany, and you are there, let me know, please. I will make every effort to come over and greet you face to face. Absolutely. Hey, Daryl, good morning to you, sir. How are you? Good morning, great people, he writes. Uh, Tracy writes, hi, y'all. Good morning, Tracy. Good to see you. Jerry writes, good morning. What's good? Hashtag team NI. Holding it down as always. In just a couple of minutes, we need to talk about a responsibility that homeowners may have. Are you a homeowner? Do you live in the city of Cincinnati? If you are a homeowner, uh, please pay attention for the, to the first 15 minutes of this particular show. If you, you are planning on being a homeowner within the next few months, please pay attention. Because guess what? Your rates might be going up. But they may be going up for a good cause. Our babies, our children. I know there's a phenomenon whenever the school board, right, CPS, Cincinnati Public Schools, how would you rate the job that they're doing, honestly? Would you give them an A? Would you give them a C? Would you give them an F? How would you rate the job that the Cincinnati Public School System is doing in educating our children and also uh, being a positive, having a positive influence within the city? Okay, because if we're going to build our city, we have to, everyone has to go overboard. Everyone has to go overboard. Uh, But just yesterday, the fine folks at the Cincinnati School Board voted unanimously for what some people are calling an unprecedented levy resolution. The board voted unanimously for a levy. It looks like it's going to be on the ballot in November. Why? Well, because they're expecting a big turnout and they want to try to capitalize off of it. Makes perfect sense. I get it. This is the first time in many years that the good folks at the Cincinnati School Board have been asking for a levy. And, you know, people that read the newspaper know this has been coming since last year. There were some people who were upset with John Cranley because last year he was asking for a tax increase for the parks. And people were like, wait, 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 wait. Cincinnati doesn't want to get taxed like that. If they give money for the parks in 2015, well, then they may not give money for the schools and the preschool promise in 2016. Any truth to that? You tell me. It's going, this new levy will fund an expansion of preschool for mostly four-year-olds throughout the city. The preschool promise, okay? Um, which I support. As I understand it, as I sit here for, with you right now, I support it. And I support the individuals, the individuals who support it, uh, many of which I have some knowledge of. I'm friendly with. The board says that about 80 percent of the four year olds in the city will be funneled in a preschool. That's necessary. It's very necessary. Uh, Earlier, the better. There's some children who are going to the first grade, going to kindergarten and they're ill equipped. I support this. The children of Cincinnati need our support. Now, this is, I support it as I understand it sitting with you behind the microphone right now. When the facts change, my opinion may change. I'll be up with, straight up with you. But that's how I feel right now. 
Here are the estimates. The estimate is that it's going to add uh, roughly $290 in taxes for every $100,000 in property value. So if you own a home that's uh, worth $100,000, then you can expect to pay $300 more in taxes. If you own a home that's worth $200,000, well, then you can expect to pay $600 more per year in taxes. Is that too expensive? It's been eight years since the last new school levy in the city. And it may be on the ballot in November. How do you feel about that? Is this the right direction for our schools? Should they, should they be coming back to the homeowners? If you're a homeowner in the city of Cincinnati and you don't have any children, what's your stake in it? Let me share with you real quick because there may be some folks in the audience this morning who fit that description. And here's how I feel about it. Even if you don't have children in the city of Cincinnati, okay, let's say you don't have any young kids, you are still connected to the children that other people have that live in this city, right? In our neighborhoods, in our communities, on your street, on your cul-de-sac. You are not insulated from what happens to those children just because you don't have any children. You're not insulated. You're not insulated. We all benefit from having healthy kids, right, who are able to fully blossom and reach their potential in our school systems. The earlier, the better. All of us benefit, whether you have children or not, whether you're an empty nester or not. We all benefit. And then you got to look at it this way. If we spend the money beforehand, something tells me that we're going to have to spend less money on the back end in terms of welfare, in terms of social programs, in terms of the criminal justice system. Third grade reading tests are the benchmark for future prisons. I'll say it again. Third grade reading tests are the benchmark for future prisons. So if that's true, and we all know how incredibly expensive this can be to house an inmate, to clothe an inmate, to feed an inmate, to incarcerate an inmate, and then to deal with all of the effects of that inmate not being home, Perhaps that inmate is a father or a mother. A catastrophic and cascading series of cause and effects happen. Okay? Not the least of which is then we got to deal with re-entry. Something tells me that if we spend the money on the front end, we're going to have end up spending less money on the back end. And we're going to help to transform our communities. What do you think, though? Okay, I'm not here to tell you how you feel. If you're a homeowner, I'm not digging into your pockets. That's my flow on the issue. But how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Are are you willing, if you're a homeowner, are you willing to pay more in taxes? The estimate is around $300 per $100,000 of property value. So that it may, again, these, we're just talking about this. I think it's very real. But it may have an impact on our children. Okay, in the city of Cincinnati, throughout the region. You tell me. You tell me. But back to good mornings, uh, my favorite part of the show. Good morning, Kelly. How you doing? Good to see you. Good morning, Brenda. Hey, Casey. What's up, Casey? What's up, Casey? What's up, Jane? Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Angela. How you doing? Mike Jones. He writes good morning. Good morning, Ashley. Good to see you. She writes good morning. Everett writes good morning. Dead wrong to the person that posted Mr. T RIP post and the post of Hillary in a USA bikini suite. That's dead wrong. LOL. I didn't see it. I honestly did not see it. Let me send me a link. Ed, I'll check it out this morning. Tracy Rice preach, Nathan. Mr. Hollywood writes, I'm great. I don't say much, but I listen. Glad to have you. No, no, listen, you don't have to, man. I'm glad you're in the chat. Tonika writes, good morning. Good folk. Team NI, good to have you. Good morning, Tonika. Dale writes, Nate, did you catch the video of the courtroom drama with Judge Tracy Hunter and so-called Judge Dinkelacker? Dinkelacker did not hold back his emotional hate for Judge Tracy Hunter, but attorney Chris Singleton did not back down to that sucker. I have not seen the video, but that's exactly how it has been described to me by many people. And uh, I've met Mr. Chris Single. I can't say that I know him, although if I'm walking down the street, I'm sure he'll say what's up. I'll say what's up to him. We'll rap a little bit if time permits. Um, I've never seen a Mr. Singleton uh, in action. Although just talking with the man, I've interviewed him several times over the years. uh, He he sounds like a very intelligent and deeply. 